Hello, today we are looking at mission three, which is a sector of a circle. So what is a sector of a circle? It says what sector of the circle is shaded? Well, first, a sector is just a part of a circle. Part of a circle. So when we find the area of a circle, we use the formula pi times the radius squared. So that would give us the area of the entire circle. But if we want the area of only part of a circle, we can find the area and then divide <clears throat> by the number of pieces that could fit of that size in the circle. So for example, in this first one up here, this is a half. So if we have another, oopsies, another half of this circle right here, that would make the entire circle. So what we did is we basically took this if we, want, if we found the area of the whole thing, we could divide it by two, because there's two pieces, to find the area of half of the circle. So if you have half a circle, you could divide by two to figure out the area of that portion. We're going to go over here to the middle. This is one-fourth of a circle, the part that's shaded in, because we could fit four pieces of that size into the circle. So that would represent a fourth. So if we found the area of the entire circle, we could divide by four to figure out the area of just the one sector. I'm going to go up here to this red piece. This one, if we take a look here, we could fit one, two, we could keep going, three, oops, these are hard to fit in here. Um, let's see how many more we can fit. I believe five will fit in here. Four and five. So each one of those pieces represents a fifth. So each piece is a fifth. So if we wanted the area of just one of those sectors, we could find the area using this formula and then divide by five to figure out just that one piece. Down here, this part in green, we could actually fit three of those pieces in there. One, two, three, because each of those is a third, so we could take our area and divide by three to figure out the area of that sector. And then this last one's a little bit tricky. This one, if I put our pieces in here, these two pieces make up a fourth, so how many are going to fit in the entire circle? Well, we should have Eight. I know this is really challenging doing this on the iPad, but we should be able to fit eight pieces this size in our circle. So here's four that make up this half, and four would make up the other half as well. So each of those pieces represent an eighth. So it says find the area of the white section above the free throw line. As you can see, this whole piece right here is a circle, and our formula for the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. And we know our radius distance from the center to the edge is 6 feet. So we have pi times 6 squared. That will give us the area of the entire circle. So if we plug that in our calculator, pi times 6 to the power of 2, we get 113 point if we round it one zero but we need to take this and we're going to divide it by two to get our area of just half of that circle if we divide by two it'll give us half so i'm just going to leave the number in my calculator and hit divide by two so the area of that sector is fifty six point five five if we round it I just went based on what was already in my calculator. If you just took this number and divided by 2, 113.1 divided by 2, oops, you should get the same answer. All right, let's look at the next one. It says find the area of one fourth of the given circle. So a fourth of this would be like this area right here. This is a crop circle. So we're going to use our same formula, area equals pi r squared, pi times radius squared. And we know our radius is 50 yards, so 50 squared. 
And once we find that out, we're actually going to end up dividing by 4 because we could fit 4 of that section, that size, into the circle. So pi times 50 to the power of 2. I'm just going to leave the number in my calculator and then hit divide by 4. And we get an answer of 1963.5. Or 0 0.50 if we round it. And we were talking about yards, so area is squared, yards squared. So I plugged this part in my calculator first, hit enter, and then I divided by 4. Alright, on the back side it says how much pizza would you have eaten if you ate one fifth of it? So here we have our area formula a fifth of a pizza, we're going to find out eventually. Pi times our radius squared, our radius is 8, so 8 squared. Pi times 8 squared. If I just solve it right there, our area is 201.06. But if we want a fifth of it, we could divide by 5 to figure out what is 1 fifth. We are always dividing by our denominator because this really just means divide by 5 to figure out what is 1 piece. So if we divide that by 5, 201.06 divided by 5, our area of one-fifth of the pizza is 40.21 inches squared. But now we have the same pizza, same radius, and we want to know how much would we have eaten if we eat two-thirds of it. Oops, I thought that was a highlighter. Two-thirds of the pizza. We already know the area of the entire pizza <clears throat> is 201.06 inches squared. Now we want two-thirds of that. So two ways you can do this. You can multiply by two-thirds in parentheses in your calculator, or we can figure out, well, what's one-third of it? Divide by three to figure out what's one-third, and then multiply by two, because we want two-thirds. So 201.06 divided by 3, that would give us 67.02, that would give us a third of the pizza, but we want two-thirds. So if we double that, multiply it by 2, we'd have 134.04 inches squared. So we took our entire area of the whole pizza, and you could just write in your calculator, plug in 201.06, times, and then parentheses, 2 divided by 3, to get 2 thirds of the pizza, you do get this same answer. Or the second way I said, we could divide by 3, because we have 3 pieces here, but we want 2 of them. So we multiply by 2. Alright, next two questions, we're going to do the first one together. We want the area of a fourth of our pi, so maybe like this piece right there. So our radius is 11, so we have pi times 11 squared. Pi times 11 to the power of 2. That gives us 380.13, but we only want a fourth of it. So we could divide by 4, or you could take your 380.13 and multiply by 1 third in your calculator. You will get the same answer. Multiplying by a third is really the same as dividing by 3. Or not three, four. We're talking about fourths, sorry. So divide by four in my calculator, I get 95.03. If I just leave the first answer in there, if you did not leave the first answer in the calculator, 380.13 divided by four, you do still get the exact same answer. And we're talking about centimeters, so centimeters squared. That's the area of a fourth of the pi. Last one here, I would like for you to try on your own, and then click play to see if you got it right. It says, what area of the pie has been eaten? So right here, they're looking at half of the pie, and we have their radius is 4. So area equals pi times 4 squared. That will give us the entire pie, but we only want half of it, so we could divide by 2 or multiply by a half. So pi times 4 squared is 50.26 and I need to divide by 2. 
right in my calculator, I have 25.13 inches squared. That's the area of half of the pie. On your homework, all of the sectors that you have, I believe, are either a half or a fourth. For example, like this one is a fourth of the circle filled in. We could divide it here and have four equal parts. Just so that it makes it a little bit easier, the back is a review of area and circumference, as well as a couple 